Hi and good morning. Today we are going to present our video which is our final year project. Before we start, let me introduce myself and my group members. My name is Nur Aina Dira Binti Sefendi and my group members are our Kushamim and Nushada Effendi. Our supervisor are Pon Munira Binti Dawi Saifuddin. Moving on to the introduction. Karel in a general are a boundary feature and may be means to prevent deter access to dangerous or off-limit area while allowing light and visibility in a greater way than a fence. Safety guardrails are used to stop out-of-control vehicles from leaving the road and hitting roadside hazard. The safety guardrail detector has a positive effect on the drivers. Safety guardrail de detector will reduce the risk of road accident, especially in a quiet, curved area and road that often occurs accident. The safety guardrail also can detect and prevent the car from hitting the guardrail, especially the drivers that drive at late night. Safety guardrail detector can provide a high level safety to the road user. Problem Statement The drivers tend to drive off the road line, especially at curves and corners, in order to avoid themselves from running off the road. Second, the guardrail physical characteristics sometimes did not attract the driver's attention. Last, the unexpected behavior and action of drivers like driving against the road direction, overtake from left side, and many more increase the possibility to cause accident at the guardrail compound. Next is our objective. First is to produce safety guardrail detector. Two is to determine the effectiveness of the safety guardrail detector. And number three is to gather and analyze feedback on the feasibility of the safety guardrail detector. Scope of the research is testing will be conducted at road that have guardrail, narrow road, and quiet. The device is produced to detect and prevent car from getting too near to the guardrail. One sample location will be chosen to conduct the test. 50 respondents will, will be randomly picked in each location, location to get the feedback after the installation of the safety guardrail detector. Result and analysis are the result was obtained from 50 set of questionnaires that have been distributed randomly and was analyzed in form of graph. The chart show that the respondent consisted of various age with 25 years to 34 years of them are the most respondent that often use the rod. Majority of the respondents use the road more than 5 times per week. The graph above shows that most of the respondents know the function of the conventional guardrail. Next, majority of the respondents unaware to the existence of the safety guardrail detector. The graph concludes that the respondents prefer to use the safety guardrail detector instead of the conventional guardrail. The graph above show a majority of respondents satisfied in with the function of the product. The accuracy exists 50 respondents in which proven that the product is effective thought to be installed. Despite the number of, of respondents unsatisfied exist 10 respondents for effectiveness, the objective is still successful. The chart show most of the respondents agree that the device should be installed at narrow road corner rather than the other choice that were stated. From the respondent that we get, we can conclude that many of the respondents suggest that the device can be improvised by increasing the buzzer volume, add more light, install a monitor so that it will be more detectable. Besides, some of them also suggest to put a cover to avoid it from rusting and long-lasting. 
formulated on the impacts from this project, we found that the safety guardrail detector is effective to, to the drivers, as it helps the drivers become more cautious to the roads. The driver also become more cautious because of the bright light and the sound produced by the, by the product. Other than that, the driver also will take more precaution action as the product have them on the road. To summarize the project based on the research that had we made, we find that the objective of our project is successful based on the data that we have collected from sharing. We can conclude that the, the, the detector can be used to prevent car from getting nearer to the guardrail and the side lane. Risk of getting accident also lower compared to the conventional guardrail. Said that the detector can be used in other areas where it requires the, the driver to be alert. For example, parking area and area where the driver visibility is limited. To conclude about our project, we can improvise our project based on the suggestion and ideas from the surveying.